The GIAT-30 is a series of 30mm cannon developed to replace the DEFA-550 series weapons on French military aircraft. Introduced in the late 1980s, the GIAT-30 is a revolver cannon with electric ignition and automatic recocking. Unlike the DEFA cannon, the revolver chamber is electrically operated, rather than gas operated, improving both reliability and rate of fire. Two versions of the GIAT-30 are offered. GIAT-30M781 Primarily intended for helicopter use and offered in several fixed, pod, and turreted installations. It is 1.87 m, 6 feet 2 in, long with a total system weight of 65 kg, 143 pounds. It is designed to fire the Aiden-DEFA-30X113MMB rounds. The weight of the projectile varies from 244 g, 8.6 ounces, for hay to 270 g, 9.5 ounces, for a FISD typical muzzle velocity is 810 m/s, 2700 feet/s, with a rate of fire of 750 rounds per minute. Given its considerable recoil, it is typically used for single shots or controlled bursts rather than continuous fire. The 30M781 is used on the Eurocopter Tiger and is also offered for naval use as part of the Narwhal, Naval Remote Weapon High Accuracy and Light, system. Ammunition Hay, Safii, AFISD, APIT, TP. GIAT-30M791. Intended for fighter aircraft such as the Dassault Rafale. It uses a new range of 30X 150MMB ammunition in a variety of types. It has a muzzle velocity of 1,025 m/s, 3,360 feet/s, which amounts to a muzzle energy of more than 94,000 ftlb from the mass of the projectile alone, not taking into account explosive chemical energy. A selectable rate of fire allows cyclic rates of 300, 600, 1,500, or 2,500 rounds per minute. It can fire continuous bursts or controlled 0.5 or 1 second bursts. Type Revolver Cannon Place of Origin France Service History In service 1980s present Used by France Specifications Weight 120 kg, 260 pounds Length 2.4 m, 7 feet 10 in Shell 30 times 113 mm B, M781. 30X 150 mm B, M791. Barrels 1. Action 7 Chamber Revolver. Rate of fire 2500 rounds slash min. Muzzle velocity 1025 m slash s, 3360 feet slash s. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.